Now, unfortunately, like me, my boys do not have their driver's license. I'm 52. They will be 25 and 27. Um, they should all get driver's licenses. Uh, my oldest just started a good job. So that would be hard. I mean, I wonder if they'd, like, give him a break so he could, like, you can't go the weekends. To pen that, get your driver's license. I guess maybe they could, you know, give him a little vacation uh, quickly, like next month, to get the driver's license. And my younger son should have a driver's license as well, but he's not as responsible as um, his older brother. So it would be best for the oldest to have a driver's license and maybe that could be his job driving around his um so called ter caretakers and I will say it that way because actually it's the truth my boys took care of themselves just like my older brother said Tara we took care of ourselves we were in the middle kids but you know like family situations are totally chaotic like who takes care of you yourself and that's reality so anyway um yeah my i can't get a driver's license because somebody stole mine way back when i took my kids out to denver colorado and we stayed at dean's motel and their dad tried to travel us, Alex, and uh, so that the first time I knew he's a travel us. So here I'm running away from that, and then I found out he was. And the younger, his younger brother fell down. David fell down a fire escape stairs, and that's when uh, Alex unfortunately was harmed more. Because the people at that hotel were sick. So travelers stay together, and it's just disgusting. So I walked all the way to Aurora, Aurora, Colorado, uh, hospital, because I could. Yeah, I could have got killed with my kids walking in the dark in alleyways just to make it to the hospital, all, all for the doctor to say, um, basically, sweetheart, your boys could have easily been molested but I can't detect anything I'm sorry but from what you know he had bad 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 diarrhea he's like I just couldn't detect anything I said well he's given a bath right away yeah I just couldn't detect so unfortunately Alex was harmed before and then that's what child molesters love it's like, oh they're already can't no evidence because they're already harmed they're already wrecked so wreck them some more it's disgusting i hate that what i just said horrible horrifying life that i had that's why i always put in parentheses death after life because my it's just unspeakable it was horrible and i'm pretending a lot of narcissists just goes oh you made that story up but unfortunately my kids, supposedly caretakers, say the same thing. But it's not nice to hear all the time. So to constantly be put down all the time. I mean, the only reason why I um, saw Pretend A Lot Narcissist this year is because he really was a, is a good actor. And he lied the entire time. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm so sorry you didn't get to see your kids since 2006. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, nobody should go through that. And then, and then I say the truth about him, uh, his abuse. And no way. But see, if burying the hatchet with my parents would just be us never talking about the past. And, unfortunately, yeah, they're really in bad shape. And I would be the helper. You know, like, okay, 
Alex should be driving them around. Um, since they're all too old. And, you know, maybe, you know, Alex can help us all out, you know, to eat healthy. No, how, what, you know, um, whatever. Alex can be a great helper. He really can. And, uh, unfortunately his brother is not as responsible and not as, uh, but uh, not as, okay, all I have to say is, his brother is not as responsible as his older brother. But, um, David, Matthew Keebler, my youngest son, never did anything wrong that I know of. I mean, uh, the situation he's in right now, uh, I don't think he, I still, you know, and, you know, that's what a mother wants to believe and all that. I, I really, yeah, I, I don't think there was any wrongdoing. Seriously. It was like, you know, people like each other. And sometimes they're underage and, like, whatever. It, whatever happens, happens. But, uh... I mean, he shouldn't be punished. But, oh well. Uh, but it would be nice, you know, for it where my boys live at, grown atheist boys, it would be nice for them to have a decent environment. Okay, working, working toilet on the third floor would be like number one, and the sink up there too. I mean, I, I lived in hell, so it, there's a little tiny um, hallway in between the two rooms. My bed could be in the middle, right? And the sink could be on the one side and the toilet could be on the other side. On the wall. And it's a little tiny, tiny... I mean, you've seen, like, little tiny apartments and, and... No. Not everybody... I mean, there's millions of videos on TV and, um... In Japan. They have the tiniest little apartments. So, yeah, a little tiny square space of, um... Hallway. You could put a bed, a sink, and, and then still walk through. The bed would have to go up on the wall. That's what, um, you know what? There's a closet on the third floor. The closet could be the bathroom. That would be room enough for a, a toilet. There you go. The toilet could be there. Uh, where could the sink be at? In one of my kids' rooms. i just borrow the sink. Yeah, as simple as that. Yeah, it would be too, no, nah, too close quarters for that <laughs> hallway to have a toilet. No, no, the toilet takes up too much room. The sink takes up less room, but still, like, no. Or just put a toilet in one of my kids' rooms and a bathroom. Just put both. Both kids have toilets and bathrooms and, and, and a sink and a bathroom. Both kids would have a bathroom in their rooms. There you go. Total respect. Nice. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, they shouldn't have to go all the way downstairs to try to get some water out of the kitchen and get, uh, go take a shit on the commute. They shouldn't have to do that. But yeah, I mean, it could, you know, be uh, a much better situation. And so my dad, my dad's in really, really, really bad shape. And he was always a bad driver anyway. So, I mean, all, he would have, uh, my son, and, and see, I never ever was allowed to do anything. So I'm, I'm looking at Alex as, you know, there would have to be communication back and forth. Like, okay. Where you want to go this week and what times? Guess what? You have to do them at night because I work during the day. We, okay. Like, whatever. You know, he'd be my, um, parents' driver. To, like, you know, and then he can do his own thing on his phone. Like, you know, I'll sit in the car. He, he would be the chauffeur. And, like, do you want to go to the grocery store together? Well, then I'm going to sit in the car. 
you want to go to Logs Park, then maybe I'll, I'll sit out in the pavilion on my, on my computer or whatever, you know, wherever they want to go. You want to go there? Well, no, I'm the driver. You have to, like, come up with where you want to go ahead of time. But it would be, like, at night time. So, like, Saturdays, I could go to Longs Park every weekend. And my boy does not have to be with my parents. He can be in, in, in his own little spot. Wherever, and if he doesn't want to enjoy the lake, if the lake is still there. It's not a lake, it's like, uh, it's a pond that they made. And me and my boys used to go there all the time. It was great that I was able to do that. Go out in the bus and go to Long's Park to feed the ducks. Got bread. Did that a few times. That was fun.